Hey guys, what's up Gemini? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Whee. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you whee, okay, like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, immediate future for the gems. Wow, nice cards. All right, uh, yeah, immediate future for gems. All right, the five of swords. So the temperance and the star Aquarius energy. Looks like, um, I gotta clarify the five of swords. You could just be dealing with, um, Sorry about that. You could just be dealing with a, a Sagittarius, but there could have been some, like, we'll clarify, some rocky times in the past, and then kind of a waiting period, but it looks like something that you wish for may be here. Show me those five of swords. A lot of Aquarius energy. Show me those five of swords. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Mm. Show me this tire scent. It's almost, um, yeah, see, the, it, it, the feeling I got was like somebody broke, like, uh, and it doesn't even, it's like the chain of command, like, uh, I don't know, somebody may have felt, like, really disrespected. There could have been something here around money. Um, but yeah, the world Capricorn energy, this could have been a marriage, something like that, but somebody could have ghosted it. Breadcrumbed the hell out of it. Maybe just kind of did what met their best interest. The situation could have caused some poverty. Just a lot of uncertainty around it. Maybe somebody is, but somebody's thinking about it. Even though the world's there, you're closing some type of chapter here. But there's somebody. It's like, um, yeah, they're causing some type of of closure here. Almost, you know, ghost in a situation. It does feel like kind of someone's angry behind that. Could have lost, left like a lot of weight, especially financially, or kind of looking for work. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, energy. You may not be seeing this right now. Or you may be keeping this hidden because that's your energy. Wait, you didn't take any shit here. Could have been drinking involved for some around a certain situation. That's a heavy ending here. It's like it left someone carrying a lot of responsibility, a lot of weight. Some type of ending is really weighing heavy on someone. With the moon there in the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is your energy. But, and you could just be keeping a lot to yourself, like what you're going through. But it also could be this other person. It does feel like there's some anger there. Show me this temperance card. Sagittarius energy. You're waiting. It's like you're putting time and energy into rebuilding something here. Whatever you felt like was lost. Um, whether this was around money or like just a ghosted lonely feeling. It's like there's kind of an essence with the temperance card there. I mean, you're protected. But it's, it's and with the seven of pentacles, it's like a very much a waiting energy. Investing time and energy into something that is committed. It's abundant. So it's the opposite of this energy. So whatever this situation caused you and made you feel like um, some type of loss, 
um, slowly, slowly rebuilding that and putting in the time and energy and effort um, that is needed to make it happen. With that Eight of Swords, though, you may be kind of nervous to let this go um, or, you know, for this kind of rebuilding type of energy. Uh, you could be a boss type person, very independent, um, especially financially, because it does seem like there's something here that you're manifesting and maybe it's been a struggle because it's been a struggle to let go of something over here, but you're doing it. So don't get caught up in like that headspace. Um, because that's just worry. That's just anxiety. But you are you have the power to manifest this and you are doing it. It just takes time. With that seven of pentacles, it's, it's almost like you're rebuilding something here. But that, that's, that takes time. But think of like a garden. But at the end of it, it will pay off and be fruitful and abundant. So your wish is here. It's been a waiting period. Show me this star. Aquarius energy. Feels like you put a lot of time and energy and effort into yourself, into your money. Show me the star for Gemini, please. <laughs> wow. And the six of wands. Whatever you have been busting your ass, whatever someone tried to take from you, whatever feels like it was taking forever but wasn't going, like maybe it felt like it wasn't even moving, it is. The star and the six of wands, you may be getting some type of raise seen in the public eye. You may be doing something that's going to bring in like a windfall of money here. It's like, this could be like superstardom, like front and center stage. You're definitely noticed. You're getting a wish here in a major way. Whatever you've been doing, it's about to pay off. Whatever someone tried to take from you or made you feel lacking. It's here. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night of the deck. But when this night finally arrives or the situation finally arrives, so does stability and abundance. <laughs> Just like I said, the four of wands. Stability, commitment, home. This could be a new home. It could be a new relationship. But whatever this is that you're, it feels like on a personal level, rebuilding. I mean, you could be seen in the public eye. You're getting a hell of a wish there. Good for you. Whatever is lost is being recovered. You have been, this is an amazing job rebuilding. And it feels like also on a personal level, you've came a long way. So don't, don't self doubt anything because you're doing your damn thing. All right, Gemini, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.